So, got a haircut. Not gonna talk about it. That's all I have to say on that. By the time I upload this video, it will be February 20th, if I've timed everything correctly. And that means it will be the one year anniversary since my debut novel, Beauty and the Breakdown, was released. It was self-published, but it's still out in the world for everyone to see. It's right here, I remember to put it there today, so all's good. I think I've mentioned in one of my past videos that I have... I say that a lot. And I say I think I've mentioned it, but I genuinely have no idea if I have. So, in one of my past videos, I may have mentioned it, I probably haven't. I said that I have a box where I keep things related to my book in. That sounds so vague. But, today we're going to go through the box. So this is just a box from Paper Chase. I got this because it's also the same print as my scrapbook. But also it has a matte print and that gives me the travelling runaway idea, which basically inspired me in the breakdown. So, they match. There's not much in here, but I'm aiming to put a lot of stuff in here as more things happen with the book. So the first thing in here is this green notebook. There's not much in, but this is where I keep all the notes. Like the first page on here, it's ideas for the sequel. There's ideas for extra chapters that I'm adding to the book, because I'm working on an extended edition, which might be out, it might not be. There is more chapter inspiration. There's a page discussing on how the book ends and like deciding who dies. There's a timeline of the book. There's just lots of notes to do with the book. And I think this is where all the sequel stuff will be. So this is just a notebook basically for the book. The next thing I see in here is a congratulations card. So when the book came out, some of my family members sent me congratulation cards. Basically, like this one says, well done on the publication of your first novel. First of all, I have, I'm not, I have like no idea who this is from. But I think it might be from my granddad, but someone wrote it on his behalf. Yeah, this is your granddad. I think a lot of my family thought it was like a properly published novel, like I got off the contract, so it was going to be in bookstores everywhere. But it's self-published, but I don't know if my family know that, you know? My family are basically very proud of it. Because this is like, the, writing is the only big achievement I have. Like. For example, my brother, he races cars as like a hobby, he brings home trophies every weekend, he gets in newspapers for basically because like, being the best person in his age group and stuff like that. So he's a very publicised hobby and like none of my, f I think half my family forget I exist sometimes because I'm just like the quiet one in the corner out of the way. So it, it like really meant a lot to me that they sent me these cards and I just felt, you know, special, like I had my moment. Hopefully I have a few more moments, but mm, I've had one at least. So the next thing I can see in here is a copy of the book. This is, is this, yeah, this is the proof copy. And it's the one that I basically use for Instagrams. Okay, so this one has like highlighted paragraphs in, it's got highlighted extracts, random words. Cause this is, you know, the proof copy. So I can just not destroy it, but it's like the messy version. So this is the one that I decorate for on Instagram and this is the one that like just looks nice and stays on the shelf. Even though I think the corners are probably in better condition because that's the one I also carry around to school when it came out so I could show all my teachers. And this one, you know, it's basically here because the cover's not straight and also it has like a plain spine. It's like the ugly sister, but I love it. It's like special in its own way. Also, it's really dark in here, and I apologise for being here, the wind and the rain outside. But I don't want to turn the light on, because that will just ruin the lighting even more, and maybe I can fix it if it's like this. So what I have here is a postcard. It says, it says the stillest words that bring on the storm. And the storm made me laugh, because the force of storms is my username on the villas. And this is a postcard that my teacher, at the end of our school year, because we finished secondary school, she wrote one for every person in that English class. So, and first of all, credits to her because that would have took ages because we had a massive class. But 
because I'm a, also a quiet student, a lot of my teachers don't know me very well. And like this book is the only thing they know me for because it's in the school library and it's in the school newsletter. Looking forward to the next novel. It's basically here as a reminder that when I do release another book, to send her one. That sounds strange. I'm gonna skip that one. This one. God no. I hate this picture of a passion. So, when my book came out, my parents were being proud parents and because they weren't entirely sure how to, I guess, to support or promote my book, they just sent a little email to a local newspaper and someone came around and took this beautiful picture of me. And I think I emailed them, did I email it? Yeah. I emailed them like a little piece on the book, I guess. Having like my face in a newspaper and words that I wrote and stuff about something I've done in there was a slightly surreal experience. It's so strange. The final thing in here is something I made a long time ago. Let's talk first. So, I've started writing this book in a little check. Thursday 23rd of October, it was 2014. So I set the first date in the book as when I actually started writing it because I'm not creative at all. And I originally published this story on the website called Mavellas, which like Wattpad, but more engagement with the audience. And I posted it chapter by chapter. It had a different cover at the time because this is like my published cover. And I made a little playlist which is in the back of the book. When I first started to write this novel, I chose to publish it on an online writing website called Mavellas, a place which helped shape me as a writer and as a person, which is very true. I, like many others on the site, was often asked about the inspiration behind the story. That's the thing I got in the comments sometimes, like, you know, this is kind of a weird concept. Where'd it come from? So everything that I've written has been inspired by music, specifically lyrics or visuals that belong with the song. So, no, I doesn't say so. I say so a lot, I didn't even say so. For this short novel, my response was always simple. It started with one song and two music videos. That song was Beauty in the Breakdown, and those videos were By Now by, Ma by, now by Marianas Trench and Robbers by Maya 75. So I included the whole playlist that I listened to while writing this little world. But this thing here is a CD I made myself but yeah this is a CD I made myself of the original track list which is very different and I don't even like most of these songs I completely forgot that I made this like I guess I made it and I just like put it on a shelf somewhere out the way because then my playlist changed a lot so when I found this it was an exciting day and you can see here the difference between the original cover which I think someone made for me on Quotev and then this cover which is from, I know where it's from literadesigns.com yes well this is a good video I don't think so but I enjoyed reminiscing do other people get boxes of like things? it's like my mum has this box of like all my baby things like little clothes and shoes and like cards I've made for her and stuff. That's what it feels like. I'm just, you know, a box of stuff for my son. So I hope at least someone enjoyed this video. Um, I should probably film something else to celebrate the one year anniversary of my son better. One year anniversary of my son. The first birthday of my child. But, you know, reminiscing. That's good enough. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.